Time to electrify! <laughs> What's up everybody, Abbas here from Golden Motor. We've got an exciting video for you guys today. This thing used to be a gas. <laughs> this used to be a gas go-kart and now it's fully electric. So Hamdani did an internship with us over the summer and he said he wanted to take a challenge of converting this to electric. And we said, go for it. We'll supply you with the parts, the battery, motor, everything, but you got to do it. And the guy pulled it off. So we're going to show you the whole journey, the, the way he did it. Hey guys, my name is Hamdani. Today I'm going to be showing you how I converted this gas go-kart, which is unable to reverse very slow, max 20 miles per hour, to electric. So my first step of converting this gas go-kart into electric was taking out the gas motor. I had to take out the torque converter, which was belt drive, the spark plugs, and the battery. While I was taking out the motor, I realized I had to keep the base of the motor, which I would in need in the future to use to set up the mount for the electric motor. All right, go for it. Did it. After I took out the gas motor, I had to disconnect the wires from the accelerator. Before we do any project, we always have to test our setup. So we had to do a bench test. So in the link below, we have the full video for the bench test. But over here, I'll quickly show you how we did it. After all the gas components were taken out, I had to make the battery box, which will now hold the new battery. For the battery box, I used a thin sheet of metal, I measured it out, and then I folded the sides, welded a few parts of it, and then I drilled two holes in it and tack welded it onto the go-kart. After I installed the battery box, I started to work on the motor mount.
I first cut out the pieces for the motor mount and I made them according to the, the base that I had on the previous gas motor as you have seen before in the video. Then I drilled four holes in the, in the metal. They weren't exact, so I had to use a larger bit and make it bigger the holes so that I can fit in the screw. After all the pieces of metal were prepared, I had to weld them together. After I finished the mount, I had to drill the holes for the motor in the mount so that I could mount it on. After I set up the motor mount on the previous mount, which was for the gas motor, I installed the electric motor. Hey guys, this is our final build. We have the five kilowatt motor right here. We have the 72 volt battery right here and we have the easy controller right here. I made this makeshift box for, on a 3D printer to like cover it from like getting water when we go in like puddles and all this stuff. And over here we got our on and off switch. We have a reverse and and forward driving switch, which you don't get in a lot of uh, a lot of dirt bikes and a lot of uh, go karts, which is a, which is a big plus about electric. We have seat belts here, you know, safety first, and we have a full ride suspension, and you pretty much don't feel anything on that suspension. It's crazy. Let's see what this bad boy can do. All right.